Hey everyone, it's me. Um, you know, it's the one who specializes in choreographed dance. And, you know, I really love what I do. Over the years since I've uh, began choreographed dance, I've realized that I haven't vlogged consistently. Um, you know, regarding this dance journey, trust me when I say that there have been a lot of good parts, but there have been a lot of bad parts as well. Um, it's, it's, a you know, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, more than a lot of people realize, and, uh, I realized it's a major disservice to myself and others, uh, that I never went into great detail about how I lead this brilliant life with this brilliant activity. Um, you know, throughout the year, I get into this activity and, um, you know, uh, recently, a lot of people have garnered different levels of interest in it. And uh, so here I am telling you more about my approach to dance as well as other non-dance things in my life and um, as well as other people's lives because that all, eventually that all does come to play, come into play regarding how I got to this point in life and how I created and maintained it and how I envision to continue this life for as long as I'm able to. Um, as many may or may not know, uh, why dancers do things that we do? Why do we do what we do for myself personally? An aerobic activity, it's great to keep you in shape. Gets you moving. Gets the blood flowing. It's something many people can do. And it's just such an unstoppable force. Have you ever had a strong passion for somebody or someone, um, just something around the world, just, and it's become something so, that you're so keen on. And that's what it ultimately means to me. It's incredibly enjoyable. Um, it's something that's good to share with so many people. Um, so how I began, I want to start saying that I wasn't always inclined to dance. I was bad at dancing. I had two left feet. I, I was just a sorry sap, you know. Um, anyway, so I dreaded dancing, but uh, I still did some choreographed dancing for musicals and choir performances in high school during vocal college class, as well as a couple community choirs, including a barbershop style uh, quartet type of uh, chorus. But it wasn't until the time in my late 20s when I happened upon a K-pop meetup group and um, a K-pop, uh, a couple K-pop videos like uh, one by Jay Park and a Nine Muses song. I was really impressed by the smooth choreograph, the smooth choreography in the uh, the videos, and it was really pleasant to listen to as well. Um, so somehow I ended up. Uh, looking more into that. Others had the same interest in this meetup group. And um, eventually, though, uh, I found out that through my own time, I wanted to learn more dances. Um, and other folks weren't at my same pace of learning or want to, or and they didn't want to do the same kind of performances or dance covers, which ended up being very disappointing. So I took matters into my own hands. And uh, now years later, I've kept my older videos, many, many of them, if not most of them, because despite thinking about if I should erase them, it's a great way to review. And it's, you know, that's a great way to keep yourself humble, to think back on how you, where you came from. Um, you know, it's remarkable to see how you yourself can grow, how you've come from such a long way. And that's a very beautiful thing. Um, I'm just going to leave it at here. I think uh, this is a long enough video and I sure hope to do many more vlogs, um, more to come, uh, Q&A, things like do I wear outside shoes while dancing with shoes inside things like that and um you know just more vlogs i hope to uh, uh pump out more to come 
All right. Uh, see you next time.